はい All right, hopefully everybody can hear me. I'm gonna start switching over here. There we go. Alright, good. Hopefully you guys can see well. I've uh, upscaled the screen a little bit, so it is now outputting at 1440p. So you should be getting about 2K resolution uh, if you have the ability to do that. As you can see, my if I zoom in, you can see here that we've got quite a nice um, you can like read everything really good, and so hopefully that the uh, is something that suits your guys' as fancy. going to generate project files and see if this will okay interesting because I have the ALS community here so I was wondering if it would just <clears throat> 
by the way, it's uh, pretty much confirmed. Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to the computer. It's coming to PC, which is super freaking exciting for me. Especially since I, I plan on buying a, a stream deck and I, I really want to play that on the go, you know? Yeah, it looks like I'm actually going to have to re... rebuild. It's not too huge of a deal, though. Hey, look at that. So we got that. We got darker nodes installed. Um, I'm gonna borrow from my MP shooter here. I'm gonna borrow the uh, the plugins that I had in here. Electric nodes, all this stuff. This folder we're going to want to open up in Visual Studio Code. I'll explain why in a second. And then we should be able to reopen this. Just going to buy some stuff from my cookie clicker, don't mind me. So now that won't stupid. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our plugins. We should be pretty good to go. Yep. All right. Let's update the project file. Okay. So now we should be pretty much get, we should be pretty much ready to go. Um. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay. So, a couple things that we're going to need to do, but we can do them pretty easily. Another studio driver. Um, so let's look. The first thing we're going to want is the aquatic surface. <gasps> um... This is the one. We're going to browse to here. Projects, here we are. Then we're literally just going to copy over um the the assets from this to our projects and then this will allow us to literally have a character creator in the game right off right off bat and gives us characters to work with so we won't have to worry about too much all right 
So let's take a look at why we open this up in Visual Studio Code. Um, we are using a new system. We are using a new system called AngelScript. What's awesome about AngelScript is, well, actually, let me show you. So if I create a new folder, there's something, there's something went wrong with that. That's bizarre, okay. So we'll open this up. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So that is way better. Let's right click in here. Yeah, new folder. Alright. I'm not quite sure why it did that, but um, it's fixed now. <clears throat> so, um,. Let's add something. We'll call this the A Combat Manager. As class UA Combat Manager is the uh, U uh, Actor component, All right? And then we'll do at uh, sorry, it's U function this and then this is void initialize and as soon as I do that now um, if we go to our character which we're gonna blueprints character logic we're going to create a child component of this which Unreal always freaks out when I first do that. All right, so this is the child class. Do a new folder, underscore, underscore, game. We'll call this new folder characters, because we may want to have more than one character. So we're gonna move that here. And now, when we go in here, we can add component, U combat, second to get this working last time um, do, 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 MP shooter script yeah, combat let's look at this one because this is the one that I wrote earlier all right so the couple things that we need to do firstly uh, if I hit f5 here <coughs> I'm not seeing any errors here Go ahead and restart. <coughs> it might be because I haven't um, 
recompiled the engine to use AngelScript yet, which is fine. We can do that real easy. Why? Oh, yeah, see? It needed to install some, or it needed to build some things. Working with custom builds of the uh, Unreal Engine are eh, interesting to say the least. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, this also looks like the wrong one. It was, it was the wrong one. Although I did build the right one, because this is Kedalian Online, so... Okay, um... No wonder it was lagging like heck. Now let's open this guy up as well. Okay, so we might have to enter play mode once to get this to build, but hopefully we should have the combat manager in here now. We do. Alright. So this is the combat manager. So I'll show you what's so awesome about AngelScript here. Um, so if I do something like, say, you prop property... I can do something like bull uh, is attacking. Bull's true. I want to go back in here. Is attacking true. So I set this to false. And then I create another U property. We'll call it bull uh, can attack equals true. Now you'll see in the background it'll kind of like right it clicks off of that but that's because it just updated and now our systems are here now here's another really cool part of this if I pull my combat manager in here I can go initialize <clears throat> and now our combat manager or and now our character calls our combat managers initialize function Uh, I don't know if that's on my end or your end. Let me see. Uh, yeah, give me one second.